Hello and welcome to this Tango video tutorial about La Salida del 40. 40 like 40 in Spanish. What do we mean with uh, this title? It's a sequence where we start in this direction as a line of dance. And after the apertura, we turn for a new alignment and we finish with a cross from cross system. We will show you different versions, one very easy, one a little bit more complicated, and some other add-ons that you can play with in this structure. Mm -hmm. Let's start. We are facing the outside of the ronda as the leader. I like to start with readjusting me a little bit to create diagonality with my hip. Then I go back and to the side. Back, apertura. Now the easier version is to go around your partner and by that create a new alignment. Here it's important that we don't want already to be 90 degrees or more. We want to be like diagonal. So that we can then go continue like this and now with the cross we get to the line of the dance. So one time without interruption, alignment diagonal against the sense, apertura around your partner, diagonal outside and cross and finished. The cross in this structure doesn't need to be led a lot. It's more that here we are preparing a position that will be resolved with the cross. So I keep calm with my whole body. It's important to create a good alignment before the cross. And this good alignment is that I try to get my partner's projection and leg on one line. We'll show it once to you from this perspective. We do a very small apertura step, not to get out of the camera. So here in this position. Now we want to have uh, the followers legs aligned on one line. So here we want to have it. Then the cross will be very easy and it's only that I'm with her, I'm again aligning myself in the direction where I will continue. Once uh, in close embrace. So, apertura, around, prepare, and take the cross. One more time. Tack. The Salida del 40 can be divided into parts. We have the preparatory part, and then we have this change, and then we have the cross. For the first part, usually we prepare, and then it's like one, two. Then we prepare the second part, and usually we don't count this part. And then it's again one and two, and we are finished. Um, I prefer this than to have everything like one, two, three, four, five, and six in one steady pace. Very often also tango music comes with these half phrases. So we have one part that we have a clear, a little delay, and again we have the clear direction of our steps. The second possibility to realize the Salida del 40 is that instead of going around your partner as the leader, you lead a backward ocho. So we still have the, the same beginning, but here I close and I lead a backward ocho. One more time. Apertura, I close and I lead a backward ocho. In this uh, 
version, you need to be very precise how big and small you want this step. This is beautiful because you need to listen to each other very carefully and this will create maybe an even longer moment. On the other hand, it can be if your partner doesn't have that much experience or you don't have that much experience, it's more challenging for sure. So second version, one, two. For the ocho, we expand even more and then we continue to the cross. Apertura. Tarang. What other embellishments uh, can we use for the Salida del Cuarenta? We saw it in class recently that we first started with the rebote and the half turn to get afterwards into this position and then get to the cross. So we had as an intro the rebote and uh, half turn. Let's show these ones from this side. So, into the direction of the dance, half turn, and now Salida del Cuarenta. Let's take the second version and continue. Another nice intro is to have a lobo leo. So, we have uh, an apertura, you lead the backward ocho, you have the contraposition. And then you go to the Salida del Cuarenta, as before. One more time to the other side. So, ta, into the backward step, around. One more time in close embrace. So, which leads to the third variation that we have the exit with the parada. The parada after the cross usually requires that we open a little bit. So we can be very close here, we lead into the cross and we give a little bit of space. We can look at our partner and give a smile. And we take a new direction. One more time with the intro of the rebote. So we have rebote, half turn, and now into the cross, I open, parada, and we are finished. As a concluding tip, the most common mistake is to go too quickly. To go too quickly after the apertura. So you prepare, you start the sequence here. Enjoy this movement. Take as much time as possible to experiment with this. Later could be faster, but there is really beauty in taking time in this moment. We hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, we are looking forward to your comments.